different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lease Ooh, getting caught in the mist is a minute they'll never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Good morning guys and welcome to today's very, hello po, exciting show vlog. Look at that sky. Hopefully that means today is going to be a good day. All the ponies waiting for their breakfast. Oh, Megwin. You a bit hungry, girly? I'll get you a brekkie. She's all platted up and ready. <laughs> Mega is happily munching her breakfast. I thought I would give you more of an update on where we're going. So I haven't filmed a show vlog for YouTube since Mega's first show. And it's fair to say we've probably improved quite a lot since then. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, then definitely go and check out on there because I post a little bit more of a regular update. But I thought on here, you probably don't just want to keep seeing me doing a dressage test after a dressage test after a dressage test and I say that she's only been to like maybe five shows between then and now and somehow we've qualified for the British Dressage Pet Plan Area Festivals. The last time we qualified for this was for the very first time last year, uh, no the year before actually, and then Covid hit so um, we then sadly weren't able to go. So this is our first ever time going, no idea what to expect, uh, apart from, you know, a lot of very good fancy dressage horses. We shall see how we fare, but I'm actually just really excited to be able to take Mega to something like this. I was not in expecting at all to be in this position where I was taking her to something that she's actually qualified for at the beginning of 2020. I thought we'd maybe just be starting to dip our toe in the competition side of things. So yes, very excited. And I thought I would document this and take you all along for the ride. So the show today is up at Kiso, which you will know is a fairly local venue for us. It's about an hour away. So we're up bright and early. It's about seven o'clock. Mega's already platted, as you will have seen. So I've just got to roll those up and then load everything up into the lorry and we will get on our merry way. My test is at just after 10. We're doing prelim 19 and yeah, I'm very excited just to get there and see what it's all about. Megwin's got her show rug on, travel boots on and she's all plaited. Ready to go, aren't you? <laughs> Good girl, Maggie. arrived. Maggie's having some hay and a massage. Go Kelly. Well I won't lie to you I am a little bit nervous. My tummy is doing all sorts of somersaults but we've got what we came for so <laughs> we can go home now. <laughs> no. Let's see how you get on hay Megwin.
Watching those clips back of her warming up made me remember how fresh she felt on this day. But I thought I would do a little voiceover of our marks that we were scored throughout our test. So for our entry and working trot up the centre line, we scored a 7 from judges at H and C and a 7.5 at the judge at B. At R, we do a 15 metre circle. We scored a seven from judges H and B and a 6.5 from the judge at C with a comment of more suppleness, which I think is fair. We then changed the rain from B to K, which we scored two sevens and a 7.54. And I remember thinking that coming across there, she felt really smart. At P, we do another 15 metre circle where we scored two sevens and a whopping eight with a comment of pleasing steps. Buzzing about an eight at an area festival. She does look lush there though. Between B and R, we come back to a medium walk and then half circle across to S. We scored two sevens and a 6.5 with a comment against the lower mark of a little against the hand, which I remember doing the transition and completely thinking that, so absolutely fair. But she more than made up for it with that lovely swinging walk. We then changed the rain in a free walk on a long rain. I mean, that's clearly not to walk. I was asking for more impulsion and Mega got a bit carried away. So we scored four and a half, four and a 6.5, which I think is fair given that she jogged. We then do medium walk along this remaining sort of long side. And again, she jogged. So we scored a four and a half and a four and a 7.5. So clearly one of the judges didn't see that. Picking up trot just before A and then circling right 20 meters, picking up canter over X, where we scored two sevens and a six with a comment again of just a little more suppleness, which I completely agree with. Then with our lovely balanced canter, we do another 20 meter circle at E where we scored a 7.5 and two sevens. So clearly the judges liked that. Coming back to trot before reaching E and then changing the rein. For our change the rein, we got a 7.5 and two sevens. I think she's really getting the hang of flicking her toes across the diagonal now. We then circle right 20 meters at C picking up canter over the center line again. We scored a seven, six and a seven. The lower mark just has a comment of a lovely strike off, but you'll see here between C and H, she just falls in slightly. So that's what dropped our mark. Circling left 20 meters at E, we scored a 7.5 and two sevens. Coming back to trot, we then make our way around to V and do another 20 meter circle, but asking the horse to stretch down in trot. We scored a 6.5, a seven and a six. And this is just purely because she wasn't stretching down quite enough. And I think that was related to the fact that she was feeling quite fresh. So not fully relaxed. We then make our final turn up the center line, ready for our halt, immobility and salute. And despite being a little wobbly right at the end, we scored an eight, a 7.5 and a 6.5, which just shows you the marks really vary depending on where your judge is. It was a fairly nice test. I think at the beginning I recognised I was just sitting there being a passenger, so I then gave myself a little kick up the bum and was like, no, ride her forward, actually ride, don't just sit there. Um, and then that actually caused us to have a little jog in the free walk, which I'm really annoyed about. And then just after that, there's medium walk before we go into trot. 
country job to there as well um, but apart from that I was actually really pleased with the test it was really nice she did some nice fluid transitions so we're just waiting for the score now aren't we Maggie <laughs> Okay, so the scores are in, 67.98%, which I can't not be happy with that score. We even got some eights, which at an area festival when you've got three judges looking at you is pretty amazing. But on the flip side, we also got a four because Mega decided to jog in her free walk and then again in her medium walk immediately after that. So basically at the moment, we're sitting in third and if she hadn't have done that we'd have been sitting in the lead by quite some significant amount as well which is really challenging because I'm sure I really want to be really pleased with her score because that's an epic score this is her first ever area festival to come and do that is absolutely amazing but at the same time very frustrating because she never does things like jog in the middle of a free walk <laughs> Horses, hey? So as you can see, Maggie and I are home now. Super chuffed with this one. And the results are in. We have come home with a frilly. And she came fourth, which for our first ever Airy Festival is pretty amazing to have a top five placing on our first attempt. And that is with a couple of fours for our walk. Um, yeah, not ideal Megwin, but exciting to know that there is plenty more scope for even higher marks and therefore better results in the future. We had some lovely comments from the judge um, highlighting the fact that it was a pity that she jogged in her walk because she'd have had an even better mark than that and therefore a higher placing. Um, and yeah, next week we have got a, another stab at an area festival we're heading up to Vale View um just to see if yeah we well we got two tickets so we might as well give them a try and see if we can get that all important qualification to the champs so if you've enjoyed this vlog make sure you tune in for that one I'm sure I'll vlog that one too don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I shall see you then soon bye guys